this building represents a really important part of the history and, and the culture of the town. It sits on the very spot Otis Field was born in 1798. And first stores were here, first mill was here. The first meeting house, a place of worship back then, was also here. Destroyed in 1838, one year later, this building replaced it. A building which today the Bell Hill Meeting House Association painstakingly works to care for. Anyone who has an old house would know that old houses require a lot of money and an old meeting house is no exception. And I was a little girl. Callie Solinsky grew up just down the road. A mile as the crow flies from here. She so very well recalls 1945 and the day this meeting house bell rang out signaling the end of World War II. I was only three and a half and I remember it vividly because everybody, my mother came running out of the house and it was very dramatic. Preserving those and so many other memories is the mission behind maintaining this property, which also includes the adjacent 1839 schoolhouse both buildings listed on the National Register of Historic Places. So many things have happened here beyond church services. The um, uh, militia mustered and practiced on the common here, and uh, weddings and funerals and so forth. And now we're using it as a cultural center in town. A museum of sorts during the summer, the Meeting House opens its doors, hosting concerts and community-wide events. We've made a conscious effort to have programming that we think would appeal to the next generation. The generation which, like all those before it, must continue to safeguard this historic link to Otis Field's 19th century roots, a place many in this community have come to love. I think part of it is just the beauty of the, of the uh, building inside and out. And I think just the quietness and, and uh, serenity of the location also. In hometown Otisfield, Steve Minnick, WMTW News 8.